The COVID-19 pandemic is pushing the food supply chain to its limits. Some of the country's biggest slaughterhouses are forced to cut back on the daily processing of animals or shut down completely after workers became infected with the virus. Companies like Tyson are one of the meat processing plants which took a major hit. John Tyson, chairman of the Tyson board, warned of the limited supply of meat if the shortages continued. He says as of right now, they're focused on protecting workers and ensuring that Americans don't face meat shortages. BronxNet reached out to Wake Fern Food Corporation, the largest retailer-owned cooperative group of supermarkets, for a statement on how they will handle the possible shortage, but have yet to receive a response. Many shoppers are turning to delis to complete their dinner tables due to supermarkets' long lines and overcrowding. David Greco, owner of Bronx's own Mike's Deli, says he's starting to see the changes at his store during the pandemic. Prices are going up skyrocketing. I haven't had a shortage yet. Greco is facing minor changes right now, like price raises on chicken cutlet and roast beef due to the high demand, but has not seen any supply interruptions yet because of their wide variety of suppliers. The roast beef, our price went up to $4 a pound this week, from $12 to 16 Like Greco, many places are fortunate enough to have products for now. But as prices continue to rise due to the demand of meat, many fear less variety of brands in the upcoming months. Reporting for BronxNet, Ashley Tiffany.